What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today Karatsugo Fest has finally been data downloaded onto One Piece Treasure Cruise Global. I've also uploaded another video as well talking about all the characters coming out with Legend Carrot and her four other Rare Recruit Batch characters and they're all really useful in their own right. Uh, so make sure you go check out that video if you haven't done so already. But in this video today we're going to be breaking down the actual Sugo Fest itself, talking about the structure, whether or not it's worth pulling. Uh, I know a lot of people are really excited for this as I said in my other video as well. I know a lot of people have been commenting and tweeting me when is Carrot coming out? I know there are many of you out there, big fans of Carrot, and, and I myself am very excited for this Sugo Fest to finally be in the game. I'm really excited. As I said in my other video as well, I will be uh, streaming when this Sugo Fest goes live, so hopefully I can see you guys over on the Twitch stream. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Let's break down the Sugo Fest. You can see on the banner right there, it is going to be starting on the 27th of June at 1900 PST. So that is the time to get set for Legend Carrot. So let's go ahead and break it down. So the new Carrot appears as a voiced Sugo Fest exclusive character, along with Stussy, Opera, Bava Royce, and Galette as new characters as well. All wanted posters are four star or better. Do not miss this chance. Always good to see that four star or better. Now also something that they note here as well, from July 3rd until July 5th, all three parts of the Sugo Fest are going to be here simultaneously, which is awesome. So all of the three parts are going to be coming out separately, and then once they're all been out, then they're going to re-release it with all of the three parts available at the same time. So if you want to go again on one of the parts, you know, you got the chance to do so. Uh, it also talks about Carrot right here, but obviously go check out my other video if you want to see the in-depth breakdown about the Legend Carrot and how good she really is, because yeah, she is kind of special. She is something else. Uh, but anyways, this Sugo Fest, as we said, split into three parts. The first part is going to be the 27th until the 29th, so it's going to be here for 48 hours, uh, and then obviously get the re-release on July 3rd, and then we've got June 29th to Jul uh, from July 1st, of course, and then uh, July 1st to the 3rd, so each of the parts are out for 48 hours and then for an additional 48 hours uh, on uh, July 3rd until July 5th uh, it's going to be here with all three parts as I said now the reason why that's really good is because this Sugrafer structure is is pretty good Though I will admit, it is nowhere near as good as the uh, as the Japan Sugo Fest of Legend Carrot. Japan's Legend Carrot Sugo Fest. I gotta say, was much better than what we have got given here, but we'll go through it anyways. Uh, it says 10 plus 1 rare recruit counter will reset when transitioning between all three parts, and then on parts 1, 2, and 3, on their repeat, you can do all their parts once again, which is nice. Because on parts 1, 2, and 3, the first and fourth multiples are 30 rainbow gems. Always nice to see the discounts once again, uh, and that's definitely going to be tempting me after I do pulls already, and then when they get re-released... That's really going to tempt me, those 30 gem multis, man. Uh, they're always tempting. I love that they do it, but I kind of hate it at the same time. Uh, but then, the second and fifth multi of part 1, 2, and 3, every single part, the last poster on multi 2 and multi 5 is guaranteed to be a recommended character. Now, this is good in a couple of ways, because it means that, yes, you're guaranteed to get one of the rate-boosted golds, uh, but I don't remember if this means that it's going to be, like any one of the boosted rare recruits or it doesn't mean that it's only it like it's it's guaranteed to be one of these characters like guaranteed to be uh, any one of the new rare recruits and if you get a red it could be any of these guys that are raid boosted which is interesting because for part one for me is quite interesting because i don't have legend carrot of course and uh dog storm and cat viper are also boosted and i really want to get my hands on these guys because they look very very cool uh but yes um you know, that's interesting to see that we have the recommended character guaranteed on Multi 2 and 5. I don't know... I don't know why they ever do Sugo Fest where they're not guaranteed a recommended character. It just doesn't make any sense to me why they would have a rate boosted uh, recommended character. It doesn't make a lot of sense. So that's that's really, really nice to see. I'm really happy about that. Um, but it would have been nice if we got what, what Japan got for their Sugo Fest because on multi three, six, and eight, the last poster is guaranteed to be a uh, Sugo Fest exclusive. Now, this is where we fall short compared to the Japanese version of the game because for Japan, they had a crazy Sugo Fest for Legend Carrot where every single guaranteed red multi was a like limited pool legend. So you could only pull like a really, really recent legend. So every single guaranteed step along the way, you were guaranteed to get like a pretty half decent character, like a character between tier zero and tier uh, and like tier three. Like it was a really, really good pool of legends. And unfortunately for us, 
it's just 368 is just a guaranteed random red. It could literally be any red in the game, which is very unfortunate for us. Uh, and I, I believe, maybe, I don't remember this specifically, but there might have been a, a thing where only Carrot, like Carrot was the only rate boosted red throughout the whole Sugo Fest. So if you got a red, the highest chance to get was Legend Carrot. So, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how, the, how this all plays out. I am kind of nervous with this Sugo Fest because, yes, it is a good Sugo Fest. And I know a lot of people have been waiting for this character. But it has me worried because the structure is nowhere near as good as Japan's. Uh, but then, we here we go on the 10th multi. If you go all the way up to 10, you get a guaranteed limited pool Sugo Fest exclusive. And on the 12th, it's a super limited pool Sugo Fest exclusive character. Now, for myself personally, I would love to get Carrot. I don't know if I want to go that crazy for her. But I'll definitely be doing a decent amount of pulls to try and get her in the Sugo Fest. And it says, only the 5-star versions of the Reds uh, can be pullable. And there are no additional rewards after the 12th multi. There's really no reason to go past 12 multis on any given day, considering they do repeat back around. So that's all. That's really, really nice. If you do, you know, if you're one of those whales, it goes up to crazy amounts of multis, of course. Now, for part one, now these are the things that a lot of people are going to be interested to see. Uh, what are the rate boosted reds on each part? So we can see here on part one, we've got Carrot, we've got V2 Katakuri, Dog Storm and Cat Viper, Gang Bedge, V2 Kuzan, Vince Moksanji V2, Tesoro, uh, Nico Robin, version one Katakuri as well, and also Monkey D Garp. And then you've got the super limited pool. So these are the characters you can only get on the 12th multi. You've got Carrot, V2 Katakuri, Dogstorm Cat Viper, Bedge, and V2 Kuzan. All of those are like tier 1 to tier 0 characters. They're all very, very good. Uh, and then for part 2, you've got Carrot and V2 Katakuri. Now this is something that I actually really like. They're boosting V2 Katakuri on every single part, which is great. But when we saw with the Jack Sugo Fest, right, we saw what his rate was. It was abysmal. Like, V2 Katakuri's rate was terrible. The chance to get Katakuri was so low. It, he, it said that he was rate boosted, but he really wasn't. He was not rate boosted really in any way possible. And I really hate that they advertise it like this because he really isn't rate boosted. He shouldn't be on this list to begin with. If they're going to rate boost him, make him rate boosted on one day, but give him an actual good chance of being pulled. Uh, because I know a lot of people really want to get this character, and I want a lot of people to pull this character as well. But the way they're doing it is just not the right way. Like, I think Katakuri will be one of the lowest rated characters throughout the whole Sugo Fest, and it is unfortunate to see, but I think that's that's going to be the case. Uh, but in terms of part two, anyway, you've got Carrot and Katakuri obviously boosted every single part, but then you've got Quick Whitebeard, nice to see him boosted as well, along with Whitebeard and Marco, uh, Soul King Brook, V2 Shanks, Zephyr, Vince Moke Judge, V2 Doflamingo, and Legend Frankie. Uh, uh, definitely, from from my personal opinion, I think that part one is a better rate boost compared to part two. You might disagree, but I do think that part one is far superior. And then if you want to go to 12 multis on part two, you've got Carrot, V2 Katakuri, Quick White Beard, Brook, and V2 Shanks. So yeah, definitely comparing the limited pool from part one and part two. Part one is just dominating in every single way. Uh, and then for part three, you've got Carrot and V2 Katakuri, of course. Dex Sabo. You've also got Quick Gear 4 Luffy. Big Mom, Luffy and Ace, Shiki, V2 Jimbei, Monkey D Garp, as well as Silver's Rayleigh V2. Wait, is it Garp up in the first one as well? Yeah, for some reason, Garp has boosted part one and part three. That doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't know why they decided to do that. And then for the limited pool of Legends on part three, you've got Carrot, V2 Katakuri, Sabo, Gear 4 Luffy, and Luffy and Ace. Now, I've got to admit that like pretty much every character there is like a tier one to tier zero character. Um, but I think at this point, a lot of people already have Snake Man. Uh, V2 Katakuri, his rate's going to be really low. Carrot is a good character, of course. And then you've got Luffy and Ace and, and Dex Sabo, who are both very, very good. Obviously, you just pull in the part that you guys want to actually, you know, get a character character that is rate boosted for you that you do not own uh, but a lot of people are going to be asking should i pull on this sugo fest now obviously 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 if you guys are free to play there's no reason you guys should be pulling here i do strongly strongly suggest with a lot of free to play players out there to be pulling on two times legend rate sugo fests but i got to admit the fact that the second multi is a guaranteed recommended character that is quite enticing because if you get a red it's guaranteed to be a pretty freaking good character right uh but the chances to get a red on the 11th isn't that high to begin with uh and to be honest like all the rare recruits are pretty decent barbaroise is pretty disappointing and uh galette is quite nice 
Uh, Stussy, her support ability is great. Her special ability is much to be desired if you don't pull the rest of the batch. Uh, and then you've got Opera, who is hands down the best character in the game, but only really is like the best, not the best character in the game, but the best rare recruit of the entire batch. And he really doesn't get that good until you max out his double special launch. Um, so I don't know. It is what it is, but I do think that a lot of you guys out there should really wait until the French anniversary. The French anniversary is scheduled to come out late July slash early August. So if you guys just wait a month, you'll have a double Legend Raid Suyo Fest to pull on. And that's what I really suge suggest a lot of you guys out there to be doing. That just is, that's the smartest play to do. It really is the smartest way to spend your gems. Obviously, you don't have to listen to me, but I'm just kind of guiding you guys along the way on where you should be spending your gems so you guys don't lose out on potentially getting some more legends along the way. Uh, but other than that, that's about all the information that we have right now. Obviously, we don't have the list of boosted uh, other rare recruits yet uh, until we get the actual announcement in game, which should be over the next 24 to 48 hours, I would assume. Uh, but anyways, that's it, guys. That's the full breakdown of the Carrot Sugo Fest. I'm really excited for this one. Carrot is freaking awesome one thing that i do have to note as well is that legend jack just recently released is not red boosted on any single part of this sugo fest is a little bit disappointing would love to have got my hands on him but then again you know it is all rng at the end of the day i mean i pulled legend capone when he was not not even rate boosted right on the jack sugo fest and his rate was terrible um so you know it is what it is you know anything can happen on any given day good luck to you guys out there that are choosing to pull on this sugo fest wishing you guys the best of luck but that's going to conclude this video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something along the way if you guys did enjoy it make sure to leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but other than that guys i'll see you guys within the next video